Today I'm making a brass catcher out of some uh, PVC pipe that I had laying around the house um, and a mesh laundry bag that I picked up at Walmart for two dollars. I originally tried to make it out of just the opening which ended up only being a 12 inch square which wasn't big enough so I wanted to make it a bigger opening so I've come up with this design it is uh, 18 inches wide by 21 inches tall you're gonna have to make it up into basically four sections the sides and the basically the top and bottom pieces and on mine I put a T here at the bottom in the middle and threaded it for a camera mount it's a quarter twenty thread so that I can put that onto a tripod and then also I have some little clamps they're made for uh, holding pecs and these are going to work real good for holding the netting to the frame so after these four pieces these are already glued we're going to dry fit this together and just basically press these together and this is going to make it so that we can still pivot these sides so we'll get these slid in here just like so and then we'll be able to manipulate this so that it can hold the netting open so let me put the netting on it and I'll show you what I mean okay now I got it inside the of the laundry bag now what I've done is this is actually the bottom and I've taken this tight uh, the cord the draw cord and I've drawn that up and I'm actually gonna it's gonna be upside down so that you can open this up and let the brass out so it'll be sitting like this and this will be the side that should catch the brass hopefully so now I need to cut this netting away so that it's open to the inside so first thing we're gonna do I'm going to lay this down. I'm going to take these clips and we're going to start clipping these. And these just snap. I don't know if I can do this with one hand, especially with my left hand. Ugh, those are the snap on there. You see that's going to hold that netting. So I'm going to snap 10 of these around this frame to hold the netting and then we're going to cut it out. Okay. Now I've got all these little... Uh, PEX tubing clamps uh, holding the netting securely to the front so now this should allow me to cut this out and make my opening for the brass catcher so let me go get some scissors and I'll cut this open well here's the brass catcher now that the netting's cut out you could use it on the uh, on a shooting bench just like this or you could lay it sideways and use it like that. Um, one thing that I did do is down here by the screw hole I cut a little bit of the netting away just so I could freely thread that into a tripod mount. Now the reason that uh, we uh, dry fit this was just so we could still manipulate this and fold it so we should be able to fold this flat and store it. If you don't or if you aren't worried about storing it and folding it flat, you can go ahead and just glue the whole thing together. But you should just be able to just push that down. And there she is. She's flat and she can stow away real easy. I'm going to go take it. I'm going to put it on a tripod now and I'll show you what it looks on like on a tripod. Well, here's the finished product on a, got it mounted to a tripod. Um, like I said earlier, um, I got a T fitting right in the middle of this bottom piece and I was hoping that that might make it a little beefier but I drilled and tapped it for quarter 20 um, so I could mount it onto this tripod. Um, tripod just allows you to help position it for when you're standing and shooting. So tomorrow I'll take it out to the range and I'll give it a try out and see if uh, if it works catching my pistol brass. Thanks for watching.